A Colorado family is desperately trying to find a 16 year old girl. Whitney Luloff was last seen Monday. She had just flown into Denver after visiting family in Arizona. And now Denver police, the Douglas County Sheriff's Office and the FBI are all working to find her. Whitney's mother spoke with Allie Levine today about this search and she calls much of what she's learned so far, quote, terrifying. I feel like I can literally collapse because this is so scary or I can pick it up and be strong and find her. For Whitney Lilith's mother, and the choice so is clear. We've got to keep our energy and, and focus on trying to get this girl home. That much Karen Kopp knows. What she's trying to figure out is where her 16 year old daughter is now. She could be anywhere. Kopp last saw Whitney in person on December 19th. She dropped her daughter off at DIA to visit her father in Arizona. Kopp watched Whitney go through security carrying the green suitcase she left home with. There's a different suitcase that arrived with her than what we sent, different color entirely. Whitney's father says she arrived in Arizona with a dark gray suitcase. He didn't think anything of it. Whitney flew back to Denver on Monday. Her stepdad was waiting for her on the concourse. She didn't show, she didn't show. Instead, Denver police say Whitney boarded the A-line train. She got off at 61st and Pena. DPD says the 16-year-old was last seen walking east on 61st. Cop identified her daughter in the surveillance video. She was wearing a black wig and they were looking for a blonde person the first time they saw the video. She was also wearing clothes her family didn't recognize and carrying the strange suitcase. This is past her capability to have planned stuff and, and it seemed like there was an element of fear for her. Cop believes wherever her daughter is, she isn't alone. That's that's what scares me. With so many unanswered questions, Cop only asks for one thing, her daughter to come home. She is so important to us. We just we we've lost a just a huge part of our family right now and it is devastating. If anyone knows anything about her, please just bring her home. Ali Levine, 9 News.